Eastern PA Weather Authority meteorologist Bobby Martin here with your outlook for April 25th, 2018. We're going to have ongoing showers that are going to be taking place this morning and actually some areas of embedded steadier and heavier rain. Uh, that's going to be moving out uh, generally uh, late morning, maybe as late as early afternoon for far northern New Jersey and uh, northeastern Pennsylvania, but I do think it shuts off a little bit earlier further south and west. This whole complex is moving off to the north and east, and that will be out of the picture uh, later this afternoon with maybe just a residual shower hanging back, but uh, that'll be a very stray event if that occurs, and that uh, system moves up into New England after that. Let's get over the NAM high-res future simulator radar. I'm going to start this off at 5 a.m., and you can see a cluster of moderate to heavy rain across southeastern Pennsylvania, parts of south central and southern New Jersey. This is all moving off to the northeast, and uh, this is 5 a.m. We're going to move forward from this point here, 6, 7, 8. You can see it continuing to lift off to the north and east. And uh, here is 9 and 10. Uh, by the time we get to 11 and then noon, could be some residual showers coming to an end uh, around in northern New Jersey and uh, eastern parts of northeastern Pennsylvania. But after that, this will continue to lift off to the north. I do think it remain mostly cloudy, though, this afternoon. Maybe a few breaks of sun, but uh, for most areas, we will uh, be drying out this afternoon and uh, not dealing with any, any precipitation whatsoever. Uh, again, it could be a, something stray moving in. This is, there's a, a trailing front that's up here that's going to be moving through, but uh, maybe across northeastern PA especially, uh, you could get into a quick shower. This is just going to be very stray and isolated moving through. Uh, but tell me to uh, the overnight, this, of course, clears out, and we will have a nicer day on Thursday. Back to seasonal averages on Thursday for highs as the system continues to pull away. And uh, we'll call it partly cloudy. And then uh, Thursday night, late night, we're going to have an increase in clouds again for eastern and southeastern areas. Could be some showers, just some light showers moving through on Friday morning. This will be uh, widely scattered variety with a very weak wave moving off to the north and east. Uh, just close enough where it could bring you a few showers, but that's it. Uh, then the afternoon looks a little bit better. Might be mostly cloudy again in the afternoon with uh, the system still kind of hanging in the region. So another day like today where it starts off, but just not have as heavy rain in the morning. And then uh, we'll get to Saturday. We're going to have a weak short wave uh, moving off to our north. This has not supported this uh, chance of precipitation on Saturday morning, but we'll watch that just in case. It looks like uh, that's just a front moving through. It'll be starved of precipitation as it moves through. Uh, so Sunday or Saturday should be maybe some clouds to start and giving way to sun. And then we're going to be mostly sunny as we get to Sunday, and that's because we have high pressure moving in from the west. This uh, high pressure is going to become a very important player in our forecast. Over the next several days, we're going to have another one of those dry stretches where we're going to get not only the uh, uh, skies to clear out, we'll have mostly sunny skies starting on Sunday. That's going to continue here on Monday, which is right here. Uh, you see the high pressure is going to move off to the southeast here. So we'll, by doing that, the winds around the, around the high pressure is clockwise, and we're going to get a flow around from the southwest. And that's our initially the west and then the southwest. That's going to get these temperatures uh, back up again. So a little chilly on Sunday compared to where we should be for this time of year, but still not cold. going to be upper 50s to low 60s across the region from north to south on Sunday. Uh, back up into the middle 60s by the time we get to two, at least the middle 60s by the time we get to uh, Monday, and then once we get to Tuesday, high pressure is now firmly entrenched off the southeastern U.S. coastline. The flow is definitely out of the southwest. We really get a surge of warmth that's going to come in here for the uh, Tuesday and, and probably Wednesday, too. Another system will probably end this as we get to uh, Thursday of next week. It's a little uncertain when that's going to get here. This could hang on a little bit longer. Uh, this is going to Thursday now, and you still have the same setup here, and it's looking long range on the models. So it looks like we have a nice warm week next week. We're going to get temperatures well into the 70s and 80s across the region. Uh, it looks like that's going to start happening on Tuesday and continue through much of next week. I'm um, Eastern PA Weather Authority Meteorologist Bobby Marchers. That is your outlook for April 25th, 2018.